This is Mr. Ridley's RMT revision, and this is revision clip number one, and this is types of wood and manufactured board. So we're going to be looking at wood and manufactured board. The first thing you need to know for your exam is the two categories of wood. There's softwood and hardwood. Softwood is Christmas tree shapes. The, the tree is that, actually that shape. They grow in cold climates, they're fast growing, and it's cheap timber. Most of the wood that you use in, especially in key stage three, is softwood. That would be pine or spruce. Hardwoods are deciduous trees. They're trees that leave, lose their leaves in the winter. And these are hardwoods. And an example there is oak. And there's an oak tree. Each year, wood grows like that. So each of these um, <coughs> rings on this tree is a year's growth. In the winter, the tree is dormant and grows very little. In the summer, the tree is active and grows fast, and that's how you get the rings. Um, they're, they're the rings of tree growth. Um, natural wood. Why use natural wood? What are the advantages of using natural wood in a product? So if you're making a product, a table, for example, and you can choose between wood and manufactured board, what are the advantages? Natural wood selects suggests quality. Most furniture that is high quality is made of natural wood. It's not made of manufactured boards most of the time. It's attractive. The grain looks nice. People like the look of wood. Um, some natural woods will last well, even in wet conditions. Oak, for example, will last well outside. And the end product is strong and durable. That means it will last a long time. So if you make a table out of wood, make a chair out of wood, generally that's a long-lasting product. And the wood from managed forestry is a sustainable product. As long as the wood comes from, from um, managed forestry, it is sustainable. What are the disadvantages of using natural wood? You can have knots. Um, it will rot if it's not treated properly. That you can have a lot of um, wood defects that cause problems, knots, splits. So natural wood, because it's a, a natural product, it has these range of problems. You can have cut, bow, knot. These are all things that will will make the wood unsuitable or difficult to make into furniture. What are knots? Knots are made when the tree grows over branches and they leave little growth rings. So another natural defect in wood. Right, we're going to look at some different types of wood. These are different types of wood that you need to know for the exam. If you can remember one or two of them, that will normally do you for an exam. Um, so there's a, there's a uh, first material from this kind of tree. It is pine. Um, what properties can you name about this wood? Um, it's a soft wood. It's lightweight. Uh, it generally has knots. It's fast growing, so it has quite a lot of knots generally, although some grades are better. Um, it's a light coloured wood, it's easy to work, it grows quickly so it's cheap to buy. So most cheap furniture is going to make, be made out of pine. A lot of the products that you'll be making will be using pine. It's, it is prone to warping as we've looked at before and if you use it outside, if you answer a question and you use pine for outside use, it generally needs some kind of treatment otherwise it doesn't last too long out in the weather. The next type of wood is a dark coloured hardwood and is mahogany. What can we say about mahogany? It's a hardwood, it's a dense wood with a darker colour used for high quality furniture. We've got a desk there that is made of mahogany. It's used on high quality furniture and it's also used sometimes for window frames. If you use wooden window frames because it has good weather resistance, it has a natural oiliness, it stays good outside. Is this a hard or a soft wood? It's oak. What can we say about oak? It's a hard wood. It's tough, so it doesn't break easily. It's durable. Products made from it last a long time, but it is hard to work with. It's a tough wood, so you need sharp tools, chisels and things need to be sharp to cut it. It's durable and long-lasting. Furniture made outside, made of oak, will last a long time. If it's treated, it will last almost indefinitely. Um, but it does contain acid which corrodes steel, so um, brass screws are best used in it. Beech. 
what can we say about beech? It is a hard wood. It's again a tough wood. It's a kind of light brown colour. It turns, you can use it in the lathe really well. It finishes well, you can polish it. Um, it does warp, but it's used in furniture. Um, most workbenches, workshop benches, are made from beech because it is a tough wood and it makes a durable bench. There we've got a picture of a workbench. Ash is another hardwood, tough and flexible, good elasticity, light brown, again used to make quality furniture. Now with the hardwoods I recommend if you probably just learn a couple of those, one softwood, learn pine, learn a couple of hardwoods, that should do you for the exam. We're looking at manufactured boards now, why would we use manufactured boards? What advantage does manufactured board have over natural wood? They stay flat, they don't warp. You can get big sheets. There's no faults, you don't get the warping, you don't get the grain, you don't get knots. It's more sustainable because generally when they use the trees, they can use faster growing trees which they harvest and then they can use most of the tree. So for example, for something like chipboard, they use nearly all of the tree, there's very little waste. And it's cheaper to buy than solid wood, certainly cheaper to buy in large sizes. So there are all the advantages for using manufactured board. What are the manufactured boards? What properties can we say about this board? This is of course these plywood. Plywood is made of thin layers of wood glued together. It's generally waterproof if you get waterproof grade. It's very str strong. It has a very good strength to weight ratio. You make aeroplanes out of plywood. It's available in large sheets. It generally doesn't uh, twist or warp. What's this material? This is the one made out of little wood chips and it is called chipboard. Chipboard. What can we say about chipboard? There's no grain, so it's not as strong as plywood. It is very cheap because it can use the lowest grade wood products. It can use the wood that is not able to be used for other wood products. It's often used in a thick for kitchen surfaces, but it needs a plastic coating on the outside because if it gets wet, it absorbs water, swells up. And it's not good to use. And there's a worktop. What's this material? You should all know this one. This is medium density fiberboard, MDF. This is cheap. It's made from wood flour and glue pressed together. It's excellent surface finish. It's easily painted. But the problem with it is it has glue inside. So it's sometimes a problem to work with. MDF is a manufactured board. It's made by grinding up wood to make wood flour. Then it's mixed with a plastic resin. The mix is passed through a heated roller. So it's made in a factory. Manufactured board are made in a factory. They don't just grow on a tree like that. And last of all, which is this material? This is hardboard. Hardboard is probably the cheapest of the manufactured boards. And it's not as strong as the other boards. It's cheap. It's used in drawer bottoms. It's used in the back of very cheap furniture. So that is manufactured boards.